The Nigerian cross-dresser Idris Okuneye, popularly known as Bob Risky, has been declared persona non grata by Nigerian youth, which literally means unacceptable person, meaning that Bob Risky is not accepted in Nigeria anymore because of his lifestyle. The cross-dresser, who has been in the news following disruption of his planned birthday party by police officer, which he narrowly escaped the grasp of the officers during the raid of the venue, is back again in the news, and this time around, Nigerian youth stage protest against him. Hi guys, you are watching M Chiki series. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to see you again. And if you are new to this channel, kindly consider subscribing by clicking on the red subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon, that way you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So recently, I think on Wednesday, Nigerian youth stage protest against Bob Riskin. I'm sure most of you have seen the video because this video went viral, I think last week on 18th of September 2019. Some members of the National Youth Council of Nigeria took to the street to register their displeasure at the activities of Bob Risky, whose real name is Idris Okuneye. He is a cross-dresser and very influential on social media platform. He is one of the most followed personalities in Nigerian social media space, with over 1 million followers on his Instagram page. However, some Nigerian youths are dissatisfied by his lifestyle, saying that he does not represent Nigerian culture very well, which made National Youth Council to stage a protest in Abuja adding their voices to other groups like women groups, Christian Association of Nigeria, who have officially taken a stand against Bob Brisky and his activities. Ambassador Saraje Sokugo Saraje have stood up against the activities of one Idris calling himself Bob Risky. We have gathered here today from far and near all over the country. on the activities of Idris and we are here to call on all the authorities, the Inspector General of Police, National Assembly, the National Commission for Art and Culture and all other related agencies to please stand upright. We have actually acknowledged the effort of the IGP and the DG and the management of National Commission for uh, Art and Culture. But we are now standing as young persons, holding our future into our hands, that we ask for from now, we do not want to hear anything about Bob Risky. The, 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 the cultural, in, the cultural in, intonation uh, of, of what he is doing is actually affecting our brothers and sisters. So we are here to read this press conference to the hearing of our Nigerians and the young persons who give us their vote as executives of the National Youth Council of Nigeria. Gentlemen of the press, the National Youth Council of Nigeria under the leadership of Comrade Sokubo Sarajbe Sokubo wishes with the support with the support of the entire Nigerian youth condemns in its totality the activities of one Okunleye Edu Solange Waju, popularly known as Bob Risky and his likes. Nothing that what Bob Risky and his likes are promoting is completely against the moral, cultural and spiritual value of our dear country. Our laws as a nation also frown at all these activities in Nigeria and we call on the IGP to look into it very squarely. It is a well-known fact that Bob Risky and some others who have for a while been promoting this despicable act in Nigeria via social uh, media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, others. The implication of this, if it is left unchecked by many of our young persons and the elderly, can unknowingly get to be part of this uh, ungodly act. If it is not checked, our people can unknowingly be part of doing what Bob Risky is into. Why we urge our parents to continue to monitor their words and guards, they should also inculcate in them good morals and values and religious purposes of our country. They should also be mindful of their children's friends online and even at home. Consequently, today, 18th of September 2019, we have gathered there to declare Bob Risky as personal non grata in all the 36 states of Nigeria, including the Federal Capital Territory. Yes, because he's actually a man, not a woman. For the interests of Nigeria, we call on ever conscious and ready combatant Nigerian youth and comrades of like mind without fear or favor 
to kick out Bobrinsky and his likes wherever across the country they see them and place a ban on LGBT in every corner of our dear nation. As a result of this, one of Bobrinsky's fans decided to describe him as a national problem and also asked him if he had seen the footage of the protest. Bobrinsky responded on the thread saying that he has not seen the video. On Bob Risky's Instagram handle, he wrote, I come in peace, still glowing in the dark. And this lady asked, Bob, you are now a national problem, lol. Paid lazy youths are protesting against you. Then he responded, you want to put me in trouble? Please, oh, I don't see any video. Chineke me, oh, Chineke, oh, where are you? Help me, oh, help me. Now market are they sell. I no keep pressing. I no rob. I no rape. Now hustle at the hustle. And God they see my hustle. Please guys. Help me oh help me. Help me. Help me. But brisky today, but brisky tomorrow, but brisky next tomorrow. Wait till happen. I don't keep a sin, huh? Hey! Now I, like I left my house since 8 a.m. I'm on the way to the main line now to go and hustle. Guys, have you ordered your own bob wings today? Bob Wings is trending. You guys need to get one of this pack of Bob Wings. We have eight designs. For those of you who don't like too much dramatic lash, because the one I'm having on right now is number number four, and the name is Bob. We have Tonto. We have O'Shea Baddest. So, for those of you who don't want too much dramatic lash, you can get the medium size. Yeah. We have the medium size so amazing but this one is when you want to go and pepper them ah you're going to a party oh, oh, wow, give it to them you, you, you look like this eh. uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. you show them uh -uh. that is the work of his lashes yeah baby the attitude lash yes yeah, so go get yours now at bob wings mea daniel At you mean seriously that this youth came out to protest against bob risky there's nothing I will not see in Nigeria. Honestly, Nigeria is a joke. According to Buhari, Nigerian youths are really lazy. They don't have anything to do. Instead of them to protest for the core problem in the society, they are protesting against Bob Risky. Only one man. I've said it before in my previous video. They keep saying they want to ab arrest Bob Risky. Is it today Bob Risky started living this kind of lifestyle? According to them, that is against Nigerian constitution. If it is against Nigerian constitution, do you have, do you need anybody, do you need to tell anybody to arrest Bob Brisky? They know where Bob Brisky is and they would have arrested Bob Brisky before now. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that they should arrest Bob Brisky because I consider Bob Brisky a crossdresser. But if there's another person that believes that Bob Brisky is a gay, then they should find tangible evidence to support their claim. I know Bob Brisky himself has said that he has got sugar daddies, he has got rich men that give him money. Then what of those sugar daddies that are involved with him? Have they been able to arrest them? If I can remember very well when I served in Kaduna, there was this street called Gwandu Street. And on this street, towards the evening around 6 p.m., you see a lot of men cross-dressed like female hanging on the road waiting for their partners, which are mostly their fellow men. And there is this word in Hausa language known as Dangurugu, which signifies cross-dresser. And there's another one, Dandaudu, which means homo. So at the end of the day, there are so many people who are involved in this kind of thing. Bob Brisky is doing allegedly. So if they really want to be all out searching for all of them who are into this game, they should make sure that they get everybody arrested. Because this issue of protesting against Bob Brisky to me is a bit uh, silly. If Nigerian government really want to implement this law, they know how to go about it. Honestly, I think Nigerian youth should be more focused and bothered about the future of the country like they said in their protest. In terms of employment, economic situation of the country, and again, getting good educational system for Nigerians, and most especially, good health system. Also, bank has added some charges in terms of deposit and withdrawal, and nobody is talking about it. Everybody is concentrating on Bob Risky. Bob Risky is just one person, so I don't know why people are wasting their energy going after Bob Risky when government knows where to get Bob Risky. When Bob Risky says that he is rolling with people high and mighty in government, you people think he's joking. I believe him. Personally, I think what should be paramount on the mind of any Nigerian youth is how to kick out all these corrupt leaders so that the country will be great again. I'm so ashamed of Nigerian youths right now because I'm expecting that Omo Elosho were being arrested and detained illegally by Nigerian government, that Nigerian youths will be all over the place, 
protesting day and night so that government will release him and nobody is talking about that nobody is even thinking about revolution now even to come out to protest as a group as youth for revolution now nobody did that everybody is very scared nobody wants to die so that means you guys are indirectly encouraging corrupt politicians to be there and embezzling public funds we are just fighting xenophobic attack in south africa and I thought the youth would be thinking about how they will make government to engage them meaningfully. Because right now, most universities in Nigeria, they turn out graduates, but they don't have any plans for him for them at the end of the graduation. And this makes this youth to be desperate for survival. Some die in Sahara Desert, some die on Mediterranean Sea trying to cross over to Europe. Why some take to other vices to make end meet? So I think the youth should be thinking about that. How to make government create employment for them is because most of the problems are caused by poverty. When you look at the youth that are flocking around Bob Risky, they are flocking around Bob Risky because they believe that Bob Risky is successful. He has made meaning, he has made their fortune from being a cross dresser, and that's the reason why they want to be cross dressers. So let me know what you guys think about the whole situation in the comment section below. I'm gonna sign off here. Stay healthy and safe. Share this video with family and friends if you love it and remember to subscribe if you've not done already i'm gonna catch you in my next video bye